The search continues tonight for the gunman who shot three people near a school playground in the middle of the night. One of the bullets went into the school. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is outside school district headquarters right now in Spring Garden. Jasmine. Yuki, the union that represents teachers in the district says a staff for opening the school today recalled seeing a bullet hole through the window and a bullet impact on the door. The district says they sent a letter home with students today, but parents tell me they still have a lot of questions. A triple shooting on the third day of school has parents facing tough questions. He's like, Mommy, why is all the cops here? Mommy, what happened? Somebody got hurt, somebody got shot. Did we know them? I'm like, we don't know what to tell them. As they try to make sense of why officers and evidence markers filled an elementary school parking lot in Kensington. We've been here 26 years and we don't feel safe sending our kindergartner. Like, they're babies. Police say around 1 o'clock Wednesday morning, a gunman fired several rounds near the Willard Elementary School playground on Jasper Street. Three people, including a teen, were injured. One of the bullets went into the school. I literally just ran to make sure that I was here as soon as they opened the gate for my son because I want to make sure that I'm here to protect my child when the door opens. Like, that's, that's not, it's not okay. During a crime briefing, Philadelphia police say an employee of the district opened the school to make way for an unauthorized basketball game. As they were leaving, an argument led to gunfire. The victims were struck multiple times. We could, woulda, coulda, shoulda all day. Any shooting is tragic, and we're just doing what we can to, to get ahead of these shootings before they occur. Neighbors say the school was placed on lockdown Wednesday morning as officials investigated. Parents were reportedly asked to pick students up from the auditorium for safety reasons. They say this is not what they expected so early in the school year. I pray for a solution. You know, got to make people accountable. You know, they have to be, if, if you commit a crime, you got to do the time. In a statement, the district says they were outraged by the shooting and provided trauma support for students today. Police are still searching for that gunman. Anyone with information is asked to contact them. We're live in Spring Garden. Jasmine Payute, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Jasmine, thank you. We